Hi everybody, happy Thursday. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com and that is 2021 Topps Chrome Baseball 12 box pick your team number three. Some pretty nice stuff in Topps Chrome Baseball. All cards ship and two autographs per box. There's the case right there. Big thanks everybody right here for filling this one up straight up. Thanks. Jacob ended up getting that last spot mojo Red Sox. There's everybody else here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, I need to get a monster box for this break. Um, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to run and get a monster box. And we'll come back and start ripping open this box. BRB. All right. Let's see, that was fast. Welcome back, everybody. Monster box. That's where all your cards are going to go. Now, in the interest of time, because we've got another case of this coming up right after this. In the interest of time... Um, the serial numbered card, all cards ship, but all the, the numbered cards. Make sure I get all this right. We're just going to set aside in a stack and have our uh, sorting and shipping team sleeve, both sleeve and top load those. But they'll be safe, they'll be secure, don't worry. It's like a one of one, I'll obviously. Which I actually haven't seen yet. We'll obviously top load that right away, like lower numbered cards, but. All the others, just in the interest of time, which I think you'll understand. Ooh, I really need to watch the Dodgers Network post-game show, but I would like to get some little baseball-related content whispering in the background here. What about MLB Network? Quick pitch? Yeah, we'll do a quick pitch. All right, good luck, everybody. Adam, Adam saying, you, you heard that they stopped making super fractors? What a bummer. Oh, then what are they? Well, they're, I mean, they're still one of ones. You're not serious, right? <laughs> no, he's a sarcastic. Yeah, I haven't seen one, though. So they might as well have stopped making super fractors, as far as I'm concerned. Wait, there's a game still going on? No, that's not right. Oh, because the Yankees are in, are in Oakland. So there are a couple active games happening right now. Yankees A's are tied at six. Hmm? Yeah, Dodger swept. So Yankees A's tied at six. Uh, I think A's have been playing some good baseball. Yankees have been have been red hot. Royals are up six four on the Mariners. You got to be on the website every minute of every day, Brandon. Just just have a different device open to jazbeescasebreaks.com and then just, just keep clicking refresh. Or help sell out the picker teams. Oh, oh, in the randoms, in the randoms. Well, yeah, maybe we'll just save you the trouble. Hopefully, we'll, you'll, you'll just get the uh, you'll just get the pay, your Patriots outright. Yeah, you know what? Um, I know. Like Phil opened up a ton of cases with us, and probably on his own stream as well. And we, I don't think we've seen. Um, yeah, I know. I don't think I don't think we've seen a super there either. I felt bad. I mean, he gets it. He knows what he's getting into. But still, you would think just, just by odds alone. Well, we're doing two cases tonight, Adam. Of hobby, anyway. Let's see, let's see what we got inside. All right, good luck, everybody. And remember, all cards ship. So just in case I miss a variation uh, or a short print, don't worry. There is Kohei. I don't really know how to say it. Arihara. Rangers. That'll be for Jose Arias. And Texas. An all card ship. There is a code on the back right here. If you look at cardboardconnection.com, you'll be able to see the code on the back for the short print and the super short prints. A lot of times, I think the short prints are always refractors, if I remember correctly. 
The short prints can have parallels. The super short prints don't have parallels. That Otani is a regular one. The number is 310 on the back. There's a green Blake Snell, 25 out of 99. That's for the Rays, Sean B. So just in the interest of time, I'm going to keep a stack of those over there, and our sorting and shipping team will take care of that. Reese Hoskins out for the season. That's a regular one uh, with an abdominal surgery or something like that. You kind of messed that up. Tristan McKenzie playing some good baseball this month. And our second autograph, Paven Smith, I Capola, Diamondbacks. All right, Adam is saying the Super is due, and you're calling the Super being a Red Sox. The 499 Capola, Grizzle. Uh, that's Jacob with the Red Sox. Jacob has the Red Sox. And last spot, Mojo. There's JT Real Muto to 299 for the Phillies. That'll be for Ryan. I'm sure he would be very happy about that. There's a fuchsia, Ozzy Albies, 44 out of 350 for Chris Gerard and the Bravos. And there's box one in the books. All right, next one. And I'll do an autograph recap at the end of the break, along with any other short prints I might catch um, or like lower numbered cards, like 25 or under, stuff like that, if any. Hollywood is gonna call Super, a Super as a Cub or a White Sox, a Chicago team. Well, Hollywood himself has the Cubbies and uh, I Coppola Grizzlebees has the White Sox. Is, I don't, can that game be on TV? It's the free game of the day. Anyway, final scores. Uh, Angels falling to the Orioles two games in a row. Orioles beat the Angels 13-1. to But Otani hit his 41st home run. So that's pretty good. Oh, Adam's saying if it's a Nick Madrigal, he'll buy that Super Fractor. Well, he says I don't have that money. Well, how much do you have for a Nick Madrigal Super? Who knows? Maybe the buyer will be like, yeah, we'll, we'll be feeling generous. Reds beat the Brewers 5-1 in Milwaukee. The White Sox went to Toronto and beat... Are they still in Toronto? I think... The White Sox went to the Blue Jays and won 10-7. In Pittsburgh, uh, Pirates put up eight runs in the bottom of the seventh inning to beat the Cardinals 11 to seven. Wow. They were down seven to three. It's crazy. Diamondbacks edged out the Phillies eight, seven. Giants edged out the Mets three, two. Indians beat the Rangers 10, six. Uh, Red Sox pounded the Twins 12-2. Marlins beat the uh, beat the Nationals 7-5, holding off the Nationals, who scored two in the top of the ninth, but they were able to get out of it. And my Dodgers beat the Padres 4-0 for the sweep. All right, box two, good luck. Another two autographs that we're looking for here. There's Luis Robert. Is that different? No, that's just, that's just a regular one. Regular refractor. Anderson Tejada Hyper. Bo Bichette Future Stars. Dane Dunning. Uh, not a short print. Davey Garcia. There's Tatis Jr. Hyper.
the short print of him is is him diving into second base, I think. Uh, Brian has the Padres. We'll get that hyper, though. There's Otani Refractor. Alec Baum. Jazz Chisholm. And a Yerman Mercedes. Rookie auto for yeah, Ike Apola and the White Sox. There you go, Grizzlebees. There you go. It even it evens out. I think that was a. Was that only three games, four games? I don't remember. But it that was it was such a different. It was such a different feel from the last time we played the pod, Dodgers played the Padres to this time. Last time we played the Padres, it was like, it was a party atmosphere. They were all hyped up. There's Eloy Jimenez to 150, but the stadium was, this time around, seemed pretty quiet. There's Jemai Jones, Angels autograph. Who's got the halos here? Chris Gerard with the Angels. All right, next box. What else is going on in baseball? Who do you have for the Cy Young, everybody? MLB has a Cy Young article up by uh, Thomas Harrigan. In our latest Cy poll, we asked a panel of MLB.com experts to rank their top three candidates in the American League and National League, players were assigned a point total on a 5-3-1 scale. Five points for first, three points for second, one point for a third place vote. In the AL, according to the MLB.com experts, 31 first place votes, Garrett Cole. I suppose that makes sense. But I kind of like... I kind of like Lance Lynn. He's number two, 24 first place votes. I feel like Lance Lynn, if he finishes the season strong. He's got a pretty great ERA. He went two, 220 or something like that. that could be, if he has a strong September, that could be enough. Robbie Ray with five first place votes. Been pretty good too. Chris Bassett with a couple first place votes. Shohei Otani a couple, a few first place votes. In the NL, according to the uh, to the experts there at MLB.com, 35 first place votes going to Walker Bueller for my Dodgers. Yeah, I, th I think you can make a case for Walker Bueller. But Zach Wheeler, 19 first place votes. He's had a good season. Corbin Burns, seven first place votes. Kevin Gossman with a couple first place votes. Max Scherzer won first place vote. I wonder if DeGrom comes back and just just smokes the rest of September. Could that, could that be Cy? I mean, it might not be enough, but but I've seen a few times where, where a player will have a hot August and or September, and that'll be enough to get them like an MVP. I think, I think Donald Josh Donaldson did that one year, right? I think the last month and a half of his MVP season, he just raked. And then maybe got the Blue Jays into the playoffs or something like that. And that was enough. I think other players might have had a better war at the, by the end of the season, but they gave it to Josh Donaldson. There's a refractor, Joe Adele. And there's a Marcus Simeon for the A's. One, two, three out of 199. I could pull them. So this Ronald Acuna Jr. 
I, I, although he's diving, there are a number of short prints where the players are diving. This one's not a short print. The short print is of him. He's wearing a sleeveless uh, Braves shirt. That's his short print. And we've got a blue auto, Andy Young. Capola with the Diamondbacks. 15 out of 150. And there's a black and white variation, Anderson Tejada for the Rangers. So guys, um, let's do the round of uh, The $1,500 hit, there was two hits. One of them was $1,300. It was a triple autograph on card out of Japan. It's just base. There's Very Bobby Dalbeck. Fuchsia, 88 out of 399 for Jacob and the Red Sox. And there's our second autograph, Kyle Cody. Rookie auto for the Rangers. That goes to Jose Arias. Jake Cronenworth, refractor. Not a short print. And next box. What about MVP? Who's, who does everyone have for MVP? AL MVP. It's got to be Shohei Otani. I'm convinced that that's got to be him. I don't know when, if when, and if these odds were updated, but I think, yeah, Otani. Otani has, according to VegasInsider.com, and I think that's Bet365. Uh, providing the MVP odds, they've got Otani at minus 4,000 to win the AL MVP. So that, I don't know, for those of you who like this sort of thing, which I do, but there is there some value in Vlad Guerrero Jr. at plus 1,400, 14 to 1? Maybe. The other odds, Rafael Devers, plus 6,600, 66 to 1. Marcus Simeon, plus 6,600. Matt Olson, same odds. Altuve, 80 to 1. Xander Bogarts, 80 to 1. Yeah, it's going to be Otani. Vlad Guerrero may... Vlad Guerrero may get it if... If he gets the... The triple crown. I think if it's triple crown and Blue Jays win the division, I don't think they may be a little far away for the division. I mean, that, I think that would, I mean, they're 12 and a half games back. But if Vlad Guerrero Jr. just destroys, and that's the reason why the, you know, the Blue Jays win the division. I mean, that, I think he gets the MVP. Maybe, maybe plus the triple crown. Maybe triple crown and a wild card appearance. That's more realistic. Five, five and a half back of a wild card spot. Triple crown and playoff spot. Tani has 41 home runs. Guerrero Jr. has 36. Otani has 89 RBIs, but Guerrero has 90. Vlad ha is hitting 310. Average 310. Otani only 269. All right, next box onwards.
Paul Murphy. Mount Castle, and we got an orange coming up. An orange wave, Christian Pache. Five out of 25. Now, he's been hitting real well in the minors. Maybe he'll get a little call up. Braves, that's going to be for Chris Gerard and the Bravos. Love the orange parallels. There's an autograph, Tyler Zuber. Royals, that'll be for I Capola and the Royals. And the next autograph is Nivaldo Rodriguez. Capola with the Astros. Nice. Picked him right. And just pick your team number three. Shirt and Apostle. And next box. NL MVP odds. Um, Tatis Jr. is currently the favorite at minus 300, according to Bet365. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think he probably will. Even, even with some of, the, some of the injury issues he's had, he still has a lot, of, a lot of great stats. But behind him, Max Muncy maybe? 7-1? Plus 700? Bryce Harper plus 800? Freddie Freeman plus 900? Joey Votto, Trey Turner, Austin Riley. Joey Votto, 22 to 1. Trey Turner, 28 to 1. And Austin Riley, plus, uh, plus 3,000, 30 to 1. Obviously, Tatis Jr. Fa favorite for a uh, favorite for a reason, but I don't know. Maybe there could be some value in some of the other guys. Bryce Harper has 24 home runs, 56 RBIs, 295. Tatis Jr. is hitting 281, has 35 home runs, and 78 RBIs. He has 35 home runs and like maybe like 10 fewer games than say Bryce Harper than, than a lot of players really. Votto is having a nice season. He's got 28 home runs, hitting 275, 20 home runs, 82 RBIs. Max Muncy hitting 260 with 28 home runs, 76 RBIs. Next box. Green Wave, Brandon Woodruff, 30 out of 99. Adam, what's up? Ooh, yeah. The basketball mixer looks sick. Too bad out of my price range. You know what's not out of your price range, though, Adam? Are the fillers. I mean, I know those are kind of risky. And we're not giving away too many mixer spots in each of those, but could be worth a couple shots. But yeah, I don't know when that, there's Max Muncy right there. I don't know when that's going to fill. Could be one of those things where it'll be like, it'll just like no spots will move for a couple days. And then all of a sudden in, in, in th five hours, it'll fill up. So we'll see what happens. But yeah, if you look on the website, folks, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Um... We've got a 14-box basketball mixer where we're giving away a complete set of 1986 Fleer basketball, and every single card is graded a PSA 8. 
There's uh, Brian Garcia. That's for Detroit. That'll be for Travis. The, the $51 filler is not too bad. We got a $51 one. Yeah, they're still kind of, well, they're kind of pricey because winning a pricey spot. Maybe end up with a uh, with a complete set. There's Jorge Guzman, purple chrome right, so autograph for the fish. I could pull up. 34 out of 250. One, two, three, four. Dalton Varsho. Dalton Varsho is, yeah, just a refractor. All right, sixth box. hangnail issue there. All right. Adam's only set that he has is a 2019 Prism. Is that Prism bas Basketball? PSA 9. Nice. You want the 2020 Prism set, but there's no, oh, there's no graded sets yet on eBay. Yeah, they're, they're probably still being graded by PSA. Yeah, I, I can't imagine. That's a pretty good set. 2019 Prism Basketball. Rookie set, all graded PSA 9. I mean, you already got you already got Zion and, and John Moran in there. And it's maybe even just, you know, two or three other rookies start going off. It'll increase the value of that set pretty quickly. Yeah, I can't imagine that, that 1986 Fleer basketball set that we're given. I know it's a baseball break, but sort of a longer one. Sort of a longer one, so we end up talking about other things. Um, but yeah, whoever gets that 86 Fleer set, I think that's one of the probably one of the best things that we've given away in a break. Obviously, a lot of the cost is baked into the price, of course, but just to win that for a fraction of a price is pretty awesome. I know, You're also like too. All right. Next box. After this box, we'll be halfway through this full case break, and then we've got another one coming up after a filler. That's uh, Ahmed Rosario to 75, Blue Wave for the Mets, Joel. Casey Mize, Refractor. Nice, nice Casey Mize. He's having a solid season. Could be the top of the rotation guy for the Tigers for a long time to come. Maybe knock out a Cy Young or two. There's Mark Matthias for the Brewers. That'll be for Brian. There you go, Hollywood. Yeah, I guess... Jordan did play a little baseball, so we can we can connect we can connect that '86 Fleer set to this baseball break. So your dad said every year you should just buy the top ten rookies graded, and and, and, and you agreed. So for the last few years, you bought nines and tens at good price for all sports. That is that is not. Not a bad idea. Good advice, Dad. There's certain things, of course, you know that I'm sure we can talk about too. That I'm sure you're probably working on certain things. Yeah, we can definitely talk about that. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, but yeah, I 
you know, the stock market's boring, right? Uh, I think it was good. But yeah, I think people enjoy the hip-hop. This Nick Madrigal, um, that's a regular refractor. And there's Mickey Moniak, former number one overall pick. Rookie auto for the Phillies, Ryan, with the fight in Phils. And we've got Brandon Crawford, black and white. All right, halfway through this full case break. Now you do stocks as well, Adam saying, but yeah, this is a lot more fun. I mean, it's, it's like, I always describe it as, it's almost like the ultimate fantasy sports, right? Because essentially, what, what, you know, the gen very generally speaking, in a broad sense, the main reason why anyone's value goes up is they're good players. Obviously, there has, there has to be a little extra, right? You know, maybe a charismatic personality just has a good brand, maybe has to have some other X factors, but for the most part, they still have to play well. It's the ultimate fantasy sports. Like you're when you get these rookie cards and whatnot, you're banking on, hey, this is future value. A lot of future value opportunities here, so like I don't know, I don't know. Maybe maybe that Mickey Moniac card is not selling like hotcakes right now, you know. But if you're just like, hey, that's a former number one overall pick, maybe a little bit of a late bloomer, you know. You think that he's gonna have a, you know, maybe be, end up being a somewhat regular all star. If you believe that, then you can probably buy low on Mickey Moniac right now. And watch his value go up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a great example would be uh, would be Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yeah, people people thought. I mean, this. Yeah, people were looking at people buying Giannis Antetokounmpo. You know, prism silvers, and they were just like, "What are you doing that for?" You know, there's. Uh, you can probably go back to the archives and look at some of our old videos, where I. Uh, where I, uh, where, where Jaspies was breaking, um, whatever, Giannis is uh, 14, 15, 13, 14, whatever his rookie year was, um, doing prison basketball for his rookie year. And there are videos, I know there are videos of us just, just sliding by, you know, just shuffling past, uh, there's Eddie Alvarez, by the way, for the Marlins, Coppola, just shuffling past Giannis Silvers, prism Silvers. Because at the time, outside of like, no no one really outside of Milwaukee was buying Giannis cards. Um, they were they were probably and at that time the well silvers weren't selling for as nearly as much as they do now. There's Jeff McNeil the three fifty, fuchsia speckled Joel, and there's Nivaldo Rodriguez blue wave another Astro for Icapola. So, oh yeah, when I watch that video, it's crazy. Every once in a while, Nick Jaspi will find a video and like will 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 send it to me. <laughs> you know, laughing emoji and be like, "Look at you just sliding past, shuffling past." But at the time, I I want to say they were selling for maybe like five bucks a pop, maybe ten bucks. I mean, just really not not that much, if that. They just weren't going for, for anything, really. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people back in, back in those days when we were doing those breaks, when we sent those Giannis Silver rookies to them, there's Tanner Hawk Gold to 50 for Jacob and the Red Sox. They probably threw him away. They probably donated him to some kid. They probably sold it for... Two, three bucks on eBay. He just got rid of it. Thank you, 
right. Next box. You know, so yeah, I'm sure there's videos like that, and and that I mean, I'm not. It's yeah, I I cringe now, but I mean, I think. I think it's a great when I see stuff like that. I always think, hey, that's a perfect advertisement for the hobby. That's a great advertisement for the hobby to be able to say, look at this. This card we didn't even think about or care about at that point, and now look at him. And seriously, don't don't act like any, you know, don't act like you knew that Giannis was going to be what he beca what he became. I think a lot of people were like, yeah, he's got some ceiling. <laughs> it's like, yeah, he could be great. He could be good. He could be an all star every once in a while. I. I you know, again, I mean, this is mostly people outside of Milwaukee. I think we're just like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I think people in Milwaukee, because they're fans, are probably hyped. I think everyone else really like. But now, I, I don't know what those Giannis Silvers go for just raw right now. Hundreds? Raw? PSA ten thousands, maybe more. Maybe thousands raw, and a PSA ten even more than that. There's a video of a breaker opening a trout rookie auto twenty five, and he says, "Is he any good?" Not recently. Maybe back in the day. thousands even raw. Yeah, okay. Thousands even raw. Like Amazon stock. All right, next one. Oh, and the Yankees are now up seven six. <laughs> But the A's are threatening. They got a runner on in the bottom of the ninth with two outs to go. There's Jose Ramirez, Fuchsia, 56 out of 399. Ah, there you go, Sub Oliver. Oliver saying a Giannis Silver, just a 9.5, is $3,000. And we were, Oliver, we were reminiscing about the days when, when we would just slide past, just, you know. Refractors like this of Giannis. <laughs> oh, that was select. Prism BGS 9 went for 6,000. Wow. So imagine what a 10 would go for. And we got Jorge Mateo, rookie auto for the Padres. That's Brian Peoples, my Peoples. There you go, Brian. Uh, Jose, no, no Juan Sotos. I mean, there may have been some Juan Soto cards, but in terms of parallels or autos or stuff like that, I do not remember any. But all cards ship, so... You'll be getting all of that good stuff. There's Jimmy Lambert, refractor autograph for the White Sox. That'll be for Coppola. 95 out of 4.99. We got Casey Mize, black and white for the Tigers. Uh, that'll go to Travis Melberg, Brian Hayes, rookie card. For the Pirates, that'll be for Jeremy. Oliver saying Christine Giannis select rookie card fifteen thousand. Adam saying maybe a Prism Silver Giannis Probstein went for twenty two for a ten in June. Yeah, that's before he won finals too. I think right because because basketball is delayed like a month, so I don't think I don't think hoops ended in, in, until July. Non probe team for twenty for eighteen thousand all we're saying. So can you can you can you imagine? 
you know, back when probably 2014 was maybe maybe when we first started breaking. Around there. At least more consistently. So yeah, those Giannis's. Prism, Prism's uh, silvers. They were worth nothing back then, really. Yep, sliding by them break by break. And no one said a word, Oliver. Because no one cared. He was nobody back then. His rookie year was nobody. People didn't know how to say his name. They just called him the Greek freak. Just some skinny dude from Greece. You know? You know, all the scouts said raw talent and blah, 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 blah. You know, but but I don't think anyone outside of Milwaukee thought that he was going to be, and even people in Milwaukee didn't think that he would become what he became. A defensive monster, multiple MVPs, all-star MVPs, multiple all-stars, NBA champion. Yeah, they, they, they took a huge chance on him. Kind of like a Dirk Nowitzki story, yeah. It's the final. Yankees beat the uh, A 7 6. Yankees were threatening a little bit in the bottom of the ninth. But. It's Cabrian Hayes, like that mid 80s design there. That goes to Jeremy and the Pirates. Xander Bogarts, 188 out of 199 for Jacob. And there's Albert Abreu, Yankees. It's going to go to Alifonso. And Chris Sale is looking good. We have a little orange here. Orange? We got some orange, an orange auto, Umberto Mejia. Orange rookie autograph for I, Coppola, and the Snakes. Three out of All right, three boxes to go, and guess what? We got another Topps Chrome break after this. I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. Ever watch, did I ever watch Breaking 2 Electric Boogaloo? No. I have not. But I think I did see uh, a great It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia episode. The sequel to the Charlie McDennis episode. So Charlie McDennis Electric Boogaloo. Definitely saw that. Young Ice T, a DJ in that movie, huh? Mm -hmm. 
He's showing off his acting chops already. No, I, I got it, Hulk. <laughs> I just chose not to respond to it. I saw where you were going with it. You know, Adam, yeah, Adam, Adam S. saying, the thing I like about Giannis, he's never gave up on the Bucks. I think that is what will sort of... Uh, that's when he sort of, sort of locked in just his legendary status in Milwaukee. Everyone just soon he'd test free agency. He'd leave the team. He'd go elsewhere. He'd chase titles and blah, 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 blah. Build super teams and stuff like that, which, which is fine. You know, play, players can do what they want to do. But, but you know, a lot of people, a lot of old school people are going to are gonna love him. It's just a regular refractor. are going to love him for, for signing an extension with the Milwaukee. For staying, for delivering a championship, for buying a piece of the Brewers, you know. There's Evan White, Fuchsia, 366 out of 399 for Sumin in the M's. I mean, all of that is going to be, you know, all of that is going to be, uh, you know, just part of his legend. There's Paven Smith. Right, he did what LeBron James couldn't do the first time around. And he did get his brother a championship. So I think all the Antetokounmpo's now have a ring, don't they? Because one of his younger brothers, or one of his brothers, won one with the Lakers. There's a blue Jay Cronenworth, 57 out of 150 for my peoples, Brian Peoples. And a Jordan Holloway autograph, rookie autograph for the Fish, Coppola. Are all four Antetokounmpo's champs? I think so. <laughs> right, Alex Antetokounmpo is a summer league champ, never forget. Never forget, won a summer league for Oliver's Kings. <laughs> there is uh, Dansby Swanson, purple chrome, to two ninety nine, and that's for Christopher and the Braves. All right, two boxes to go. Yeah, right. Finally, Brian Peoples. Maybe, maybe we're getting closer and closer to uh, to a Colorado. Can you imagine me the runt of the Ante de Campo family, Oliver? Alex is the runt of the litter. Oliver saying at six eight. That's the runt. I would love to be five eight. Let alone 6-8. 6-8 feels like too much, though, doesn't it? Three on three, who, uh, who, who wins? Three v three, three v three. Who? Oh, I think we've talked about this before. The three on uh, three take take Giannis plus two any two Antetokounmpo brothers versus the three Holiday brothers. Who wins? 
We're talking Drew, Justin, and Aaron. There's a, there's a big size difference, but but I think the other two, the two quote unquote worst holidays, are probably better than the two non Giannis onto Tecumpo, onto I'd watch that for sure. I'd I'd love to watch like a a uh, a three game series or something like that. Yeah, Oliver says holidays number one. Onto Tecumpo's two. Plumley's a far. What about the Ball family, Oliver? Lonzo, Lamelo, and then throw in Leangelo. So Lonzo and Lamelo are obviously pretty good. Right? Leangelo's, you know, quote unquote the worst. We got an orange Aroldis Chapman. Twenty out of twenty-five on that orange Aroldis Yankees. Ali Fonzo. Drew and Aaron will lock up the ball family. All right, that's probably true. Luis Campusano refractor. And coming up is the case hit. He's the one per case relic. Captain's cloth. 49 out of 99. Pete Alonzo. Nice. That'll be for Joel and the Metropolitans. Oh, what about what about the Curry family? Oliver has the Berry Brothers at five. What about the Curry family? Steph, Seth, and Old Man Dell out there. I feel like uh, I feel like Dell Curry can stand in a corner, catch and shoot, right? And we got Will Craig. Rookie auto for the Pirates, Jeremy. Two sixty four out of four ninety nine. No, Oliver saying the criteria for this is does cannot include father son combos, just 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 uh, just siblings. What about? Oliver, what about where does Reggie Miller, Cheryl Miller, and another Miller <laughs> find a third Miller sibling? Another Will Craig. So what about that? What about the Miller family? Reggie, Cheryl, and then whatever third Miller you can find. They're getting divorced, right? <gasps> really? Yeah, he said that in the divorce saying that she cheated with him a couple times with a former football player. He was like a white guy. Wow. Yeah, I thought it was like the other way around. Well, yeah, well, usually it is. Wow. Wow. Jeez. Hmm. Who's the football player? <laughs> how how young is he? No, he's an older guy. Oh, he's an older guy. Right, yeah, Brian. Two Will Craigs in a box. Right, Brian Peoples? Surely a mistake that uh, fanatics will never make. Dear fanatics. <laughs> Steven Johnson, who was a sixth round pick in the 1998. Wide receiver? Oh, no. Okay. Huh. Hmm. Yeah. Alright. For a second, I thought it was Stevie Johnson, former Buffalo Bills wide receiver. <laughs> 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 
who's probably like 20 years younger than her. Harsh though, Play that, that playing out on social media like that. Yeah. All right, final box, gang. Good luck. Guess what? Another case of this coming up. We got to do a, a quick little filler break, and then we'll uh, we'll do another case of this, ladies and gentlemen. So hang in there, and be sure to keep me company so I don't fall asleep in the middle of the next Chrome case. I would appreciate that. And Austin Riley is no. I thought that might have been a short print, but it's not. And a hyper Cabrian Hayes. That's pretty cool. That'll be for Jeremy Taylor and the Pirates. Thirty-three out of one ninety-nine. Michael Conforto, Aqua Wave, for the uh, Mets. That'll be for Joel. There's a Cronenworth retro design there, and a blue wave Leody Tavares autograph. Jose Arias and the Texas Rangers. Rangers, 97 out of 150. Nice, more Crone here. Aaron Judge, getting close to the end. One more auto. I don't think I spotted any uh, short prints offhand, but if I missed any, don't worry. We will uh, have all card ship in this. So. Last one's Andres Jimenez. For the Metropolitans, Joel with the Mets, Mets, Mets. There's Betts, there's Black and White Will Smith, Corey Seeger Refractor, Garrett Cole, and Shohei Otani. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was uh, 2021 Topps Chrome Baseball 12 box picker team number three. Quick autograph. And low number parallel recap here. There was the uh, the captain's cloth. A couple oranges, nice orange auto there. And then we have plenty more, of course. Uh, plenty more things that are going to be sleeved, top loaded, before they're sorted and shipped out. Thanks, everybody, for getting in on the action. I appreciate it. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next Topps Chrome Break. Bye-bye.